if we if we're keeping it a buck, I've always been on this. And that's why and that's why nobody ever calls me out. Cause they know I have been consistent on this from from jump, right? Like if we look at the way in which the quarterback position has been treated, the quarterback position was was never meant for us. It was never meant for us. Just think about the way that it was treated. Let's put let once once the once the um the advent of the of the forward pass came into play. Let's put the guy who is the least athletic at quarterback. Let's put the guy who is the most intelligent at quarterback. What was the perception of us? Unintelligent, right? Unintelligent, not not able to pick up. And so you you started seeing all of this coded language early. Can't read defenses. Um, and then that became that became a, like a buzzword where they could no longer use that because we started calling it out. So then they started saying, "Can't manipulate the pocket." Oh, he yeah, has to break the pocket. He has to. He can't. He can't. He can't win from in the pocket. We started calling that out. We started calling that out, right? Then then they said, "Oh, he can't." Now the new one is he can't operate in rhythm. <laughs> what? The mean? best quarterback in the NFL doesn't operate in rhythm. Aaron Rodgers, Aaron Rodgers, when Aaron Rodgers was at the height of his of his powers, his wild plays came when he was not operating in rhythm. So why is it why is it okay for Aaron Rodgers to do it? Why is it okay for John Elway to play that way? Because El- John Elway couldn't read a defense to save his life. Right? He had to he had to keep things work on rolling. <laughs> Ben Roethlisberger never read defense. He had to keep things rolling. He had to keep on, keep the keep the hope alive until he could find somebody. But now all of a sudden, it's an issue when we do it. That's what they've done to us at every at every turn, turning um, quarterbacks into wide receivers and running backs and defensive backs before they ever even had an opportunity to play quarterback. Famously, the University of Florida under Steve Spurrier never had a black quarterback. He never. He never put a black quarterback on the field until he went to South Carolina, where they were so bad he had no other choice but to lean on on a on a quarterback who had plus level athleticism. That was when you started seeing black quarterbacks for Steve Spurrier, and even then, he was quick to get him out of there if he found a white boy with a little bit of athleticism. Yeah. Think about the pay structure in the NFL. Who gets paid the most? Head coach, GM quarterback mm-hmm. throughout the history of the nfl all three of those positions have been primarily white so now let's keep the generational wealth in with us and let's mm-hmm. give those other dudes the scraps that's why the running back went from being one <clears throat> of the the most like touted positions one of the most respected and well-paid positions to the least paid least dis um, um least respected position that I've ever seen, right? Yeah. Like, and that is, and that is what we've seen. And so, all I do is I is I call out the as I call out the um the inconsistencies. I call That's them it. out. That's it.